So good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome. Firstly, thank you for following Flora Week. And uh, this is our last uh, tree for the year. We've chosen the fever tree for a number of reasons. Where we are situated in Makaleki, Northern Kruger, it's famous for its fever tree forests. And as you will see behind me, this entire area, probably three or four football field size, is covered with predominantly fever trees. If you see my hand and the yellow powder, made famous Rudyard Kipling's book, The Elephant's Child, where he talks about the great grey, green, greasy Limpopo and the fever tree forests, or the fever trees. And early settlers believed that this tree caused malaria, because some of the symptoms of malaria you do turn, tend to turn yellow. And this tree often grows in quite swampy, marshy areas. So you can imagine after really good rains behind me here, this entire open clearing is actually waterlogged, probably ankle deep. It is the ideal breeding grounds for the Anopheles mosquito, but it is not the tree that causes the disease, it is the mosquito. But for many years, people believed that you got malaria from this tree, hence the name, the fever tree. It is an incredibly hard and robust wood, quite susceptible to wood boring beetles. So not the most ideal wood to work at. And something also very interesting about this tree, they have complex symbiotic relationships with nitrogen producing bacteria in the roots. And a byproduct of this chemical reaction is waste in the form of ammonia and nitrates. And many trees, not only this species, are able to force the toxins into a lower lying branch which they can afford to sacrifice. So quite often you find these dead black branches that have broken off at different heights of the tree, therefore sparing the higher branches to have access to the sun for photosynthesis. And quite often what happens in this case is a good example where a branch is broken off the tree actually gets waterlogged, so in this little hole is some very smelly water with some mosquitoes living inside already. And this will slowly rot the tree and it'll probably eventually fall down. And uh, thank you again for watching us and look forward to seeing you guys next year.